Hi, this is Dina, and I'm going to attempt another Thrift With Me video. I gotta keep doing them if I want to get better. I'm heading into a Salvation Army, and then hopefully to a second Salvation Army, and then at some point today I've got to get some grocery shopping done. So I'll see you guys in there. So the first thing I saw were these vintage trays, and each one had a different scene on them. They did want $3.99 for each of them, and so I wasn't sure about the value of flipping them. I really like this one with the pumpkins, but I did leave them behind. Mm -hmm. Then I saw these little trays with the birds. Um, there's a gold one, a black one, and another gold one, but I ended up leaving those behind also. So I think they, they look vintage, called it leaf trays, but they might have been modern. I wasn't sure, so I left that behind. Um, I've been looking for turkey items uh, for my own decor. Um, so this one caught my eye, and it was an otagiri. So I was checking him over to make sure he didn't have any chips or cracks. And then... He looked good, so for $1.99, I put him in the cart. And I found another turkey. I didn't like him as much. He had a pumpkin on him. I didn't quite like the coloring on him, and I think he was more modern. Um, but I wanted to check him over anyways, just in case he was something special. I really like this with the eagle, but I didn't get it. And then these pictures right here. Vintage trio of flowers. I didn't get those either. And I saw this and it looked kind of like an acorn. And I wasn't sure if it was supposed to have a lid on it or not. These were over with the vases. This was like a ceramics piece, a like Southwest looking piece. Left that there too. I saw these. And I did look up comps on them, and if they have their mugs with them, they actually sell pretty well. It's um, Woodfield by Steubenville, and uh, they, there was no mugs to go with them or teacups or anything like that. So I left those behind. And then I thought this was cute. It was like opalescent. It was supposed to look like a birthday cake as a single serve. Sorry, the camera was blurry there. Um, teapot, but I ended up not getting that. It was a little birthday cake with the candle on top. I thought this plate was really interesting. Just plain plate. It had the hanger holes on the back to hang on the wall. And then I saw this. I'm like, oh, that is definitely uh, vintage. It said Nippon on it, hand painted. So I thought that was really neat. And I thought, well, let me just keep looking here. They wanted $5 for this bowl. It was unmarked. And then these little chintz uh, seashell trinket dishes. Um, they were they had a mark on the back, but I wasn't familiar with the mark. I ended up getting those though. And then this said two of something. And I'm like, ah, oh, wonder where the that's the creamer, where's the sugar? And sure enough, there it is. I found it. And I thought these are really neat. I love that red and white color on them. Definitely vintage. And the green tags were half price. I really like those. I'm checking them over for any chips or cracks. Nope. Put those in the cart. Then I saw these little frogs on a li lily pad. And they were really, really dusty. But I thought they were cute. Um... They weren't chipped or cracked or anything, but I ended up leaving them behind. I checked out this little shoe, and it was just a ceramics piece. A little Scotty dog, he was actually heavy. It's made to look like a candle, but he's not a candle. He was just cute. I think he was supposed to be like a 
giraffe maybe. And the dog was nice looking, but um, he was just way too modern. Everybody talks about house hippos and there's a purple one. So I wanted to see what it was and it was a bank. It was a ceramics piece that wasn't done very well. <laughs> so I left that one on the shelf. And poor little girl, she was all broke. And I was like, oh, I wonder what this lamb is. And the leg was broke, repaired. So I put him back or her back. So this is the cart. I picked this up um, half price on the green tags. It's a Peter Rabbit Jack in the Box. Um, I ended up getting it for free because it was broke. The lady at the register said it was broke and that I could just have it that she wasn't having any luck getting rid of that. So she's like, I'm putting it in your bag. Um, and then this is a Czech Republic relish dish and then the apron there with the birds and then I got this trinket dish here with the red velvet. Um, I think I'm going to keep that for myself. There's the Nippon plates and the other chintz uh, shells and then these creamers and sugars that said JRC on them. I ended up not getting those once I got up to the register because they were just they were neat looking but I think they're modern. There was a lot of that JRC uh, scattered around the store that day. And so I'm all get done at the Salvation Army. I'm back in the car. My total spend was around $32 and change. I did get a few things for myself and the rest is to flip for profit. And I've decided not to go to the second Salvation Army. It's getting a little late in the day and I have to get my grocery shopping done <laughs> and get home. Uh, so if you guys like this content, please subscribe to the channel and uh, hit that thumbs up. And uh, if you want to put any comments down below, feel free to do that. And I'll see you guys next time.